A teacher asks her class if there are five birds sitting on a fence and you shoot one of them, how many will be left? She calls on little Johnny to answer. He replies, there are none left. They all fly away with the first gunshot. The teacher replies, the correct answer is four. But I like how you're thinking. Then little Johnny says, I have a question for you. There are three women sitting on a bench having ice cream. One is delicately licking the sides of the triple scoop of ice cream. The second is gobbling down the top and sucking the cone. The third is biting off the top of the ice cream. Which one is married? The teacher, blushing a great deal, replies, Well, I suppose the one that's gobbled down the top and sucked the cone. To which little Johnny replies, the correct answer is the one with the wedding ring on. But I like how you're thinking. <laughs> a priest was getting ready to hear confessions one day when he got a terrible attack of diarrhea. So he asked the altar boy to take over for him. But I don't know how to hear confessions, said the altar boy. It's easy, said the priest. You've seen me do it many times. Nobody will know the difference. So the altar boy was in the confession booth when a man came in and sat down on the other side. Father, I don't know what to do, the man said. Last night, my wife and I were in bed. She was sleeping and I rolled her over and did her in the ass. I feel bad about it, but I don't know how to make it up to her. That's easy, said the altar boy. Just give her milk and cookies like the priest gives me. <laughs> a 54-year-old accountant leaves a letter for his wife one Friday evening that reads, Dear wife, I am 54, and by the time you receive this letter, I will be at the Grand Hotel with my beautiful and attractive 18-year-old secretary. When he arrives at the hotel, there's a letter waiting for him that reads as follows, Dear husband, I too am 54, and by the time you receive this letter, I will be at the Breakwater Hotel with my handsome and whirly 18-year-old boy toy. You, being an accountant, will know that 18 goes into 54 more many times than 54 goes into 18. <laughs> Him and his wife are sound asleep in bed when the phone rings. The man picks up, listens for a second, and says, how the hell would I know, you idiot? I'm not a weatherman. Before slamming down the receiver. Who was that? Asks his wife. Wrong number. It was some idiot asking if the coast was clear. <laughs> Woman is in a hotel lobby. He wants to ask the clerk a question. As he turns to go to the front desk, he accidentally bumps into a woman beside him. And as he does, his elbow goes into her breast. They are both quite startled. The woman turns to her and says, Ma'am, if your heart is as soft as your breast, I know you'll forgive me. She replies, If your p is as hard as your elbow, I'm in room 436. <laughs> Israeli doctor said, medicine in my country is so advanced we can take a kidney out of one person, put it in another, and have him looking for work in six weeks. A German doctor said, that's nothing. In Germany we can take a lung out of one person, put it in another, and have him looking for work in four weeks. A Russian doctor said, in my country medicine is so advanced, we can take half a heart from one person, put it in another and have them both looking for work in two weeks. The American doctor, not to be outdone, said, Ha! We took out an asshole out of Texas, put him in the White House and half the country will be looking for work tomorrow. <laughs> Phil was at the bar one night and complained about having a headache. I've got a great cure for a headache, said his mate, Trap. Whenever I have a headache, I head home and I get my wife to give me a long, slow, wet blowjob. It never fails. A week went by and they were in the bar again talking. Did you try my headache cure? asked Trap. Yeah, said Phil. Worked great. Your house is nice too. 
Woman <laughs> asked her husband if he'd like some breakfast. Bacon and eggs? Perhaps a slice of toast? Maybe a nice sliced grapefruit? And a cup of fresh coffee? He declines. It's this he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At lunchtime, she asks if he would like something. A bowl of homemade soup, maybe? With a cheese sandwich? Or how about a plate of snacks and a glass of milk? Again, he declines. No thanks, it's this vi- he says. It's really taken the edge off my appetite. At dinner time, she asked if he wants anything to eat, offering to send out for some curry. Or would you rather I make you a pizza from scratch? Or how about a tasty stir fry? That'll only take a couple of minutes. Once more, he declines. Again, thanks, but it's this vi- it's really taken the edge off my appetite. Well then, she says, would you mind getting off of me? I'm f starving. <laughs> One day, a single mother was in the supermarket with her four children who were playing around. They were running around grabbing items off the shelves, crying and screaming all over the place. Finally, the mother cornered them and said, I should have swallowed all of you. <laughs> the subway train was packed. It was rush hour, and many people were forced to stand. One particularly cramped woman turned to the man behind her and said, Sir, if you don't stop poking me with your thing, I'm going to the police. I don't know what you're talking about, miss. That's just my paycheck in my pocket. Oh, really? She spat. Then you must have some job, because that's the fifth raise you've had the last hour. <laughs> A girl named Mary is in line to go to heaven, and while she's at the pearly gates talking to St. Peter, she hears a drill and then a scream. She asks, what's that? St. Peter replies, oh, that's just an angel getting her halo fitted. The woman thinks about it and then starts to talk to him again. Then she hears another scream and asks, what's that? St. Peter smiles and says, that's just an angel getting her wings fitted. She says, fuck this, I'm going to hell. St. Peter says, but they rape you and so do you there. She just smiles and says, at least I have the holes for that. <laughs> a woman with a really hairy underarms boards a crowded bus. Unable to find a seat, she settles for hanging onto one of the poles. A drunk man next to her stares at her for three minutes, then tells her, I love a woman who does aerobics. The woman replies angrily, I don't do aerobics. The drunk man then looks at the woman and says, Then how did you get your leg up so high? 